the only family that is not extended is the heavenly family it's nuclear all other families are extended in heaven we don't have a grandfather we, <laughs> we don't have cousins we are all brothers and sisters amen <laughs> amen i'm happy to be here praise god it's a wonderful family that to belong to is a power family god has been so gracious to us he loves all of us and he's here for us and this morning i want to take a, a few minutes to respond to particular questions that have been raised by individuals after i posted a video about two three weeks ago on why churches that don't perform miracles should close I have received a few questions from people and I want to respond to one particular question of an individual that I asked and I'm not going to respond to this in Kiswahili so uh, because this individual does not come from a Kiswahili speaking country comes from an English speaking country and he asked a very simple question why are these non miracle performing churches not performing why from the bible you can be able to see clearly that we are supposed to be agents of the miracles we are supposed to be performing if you are a follower of jesus then you will do what he did and you can do more and he was asking from uh, john 14 you see and verse 12 the things i do you also shall do and even greater than this then this individual asks a very simple question. Why are these churches not performing miracles? What is the hindrance? Why are they not performing? And uh, within this week, uh, last week, I encountered a video of an American preacher who say that in Africa, every miracle we do, we fake. That the miracle, miracles that happen in Africa, they are all stage managed. But of course, I was extremely annoyed last Sunday with him. Because in all of my life, I have never listened to a foolish American. That was my first encounter. <laughs> this is what this individual is asking. Why are they not performing miracles? And the answer is simple. It is not possible for anybody to perform a miracle if God is not with you. Very simple. If God is not with you, it is not possible for you to perform a miracle. Every individual that performed miracles is because God was with them. The scholars of the days of Jesus had done elaborately some kind of study and they knew that nobody can do miracles if God is not with him. Nicodemus, being a good example, he came to him in John chapter 3 and verse 2. He told him, teacher, we know you are from God. Because nobody can do the things you do Except God were with him. Nobody can do the things that Jesus does. The kind of things. If God is not with him. While I agree. That it's not every miracle. That comes from the God we serve. But every miracle comes from some kind of God. Even the devil cannot purport to be doing a miracle without himself calling himself a God. He has to become a God for him to qualify to do a miracle. Even if it is a fake miracle. The devil does and his prophets do those fake miracles. Because they have now qualified themselves to be called gods. That's why Nicodemus told Jesus, we know. Praise God. Please tell your neighbor, now we know. Now we know. That no miracle can happen. No 
without a motivating God. Are you there? Yes. There must be a God behind a miracle. So Nicodemus told Jesus, according to our study as scholars of the day, we know. I, I don't understand how come people in the world don't know that miracles happen because God is with a man. Nicodemus knew. They had never seen any miracle. But according to their study, they knew that the kind of things that Jesus does only happen when God is with a man. Praise God. Hallelujah. And in this church, God is with us. Yeah. Are you, have you ever received a miracle? Yeah. Because God is with us. Yeah. Are you ready to receive another? Yeah. You will receive He's with us. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. Who is with us? Yeah. And God that is with us is called Emmanuel. Yeah. God is now with men. Yeah. And I'm happy to announce that he is, he, you can locate him in this chapel. This is one of his dwelling places on earth. It's called the embassy of the kingdom of God. Amen. Jehovah is here. Amen. 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 Every time you enter these gates. Enter expectantly. Because by the time you leave. You are living loaded with a miracle in the name of Jesus. If your amen is louder. It means you are well prepared for the, for the miracle. Some people think we are shouting like madmen, but I know some people here today they are receiving a miracle as they go home. Please be seated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If God is not with you, do not expect a miracle. When you start the Bible in the book of Acts chapter 10 and verse 38. It says, and how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth that he went everywhere doing good and healing the sick. Why? Because God was with him. <laughs> because God was with him. If you have never seen a miracle, that is an indicator of the absence of God. But if you are a recipient of a miracle, you are witnessing miracles. It means God has not abandoned you. You are not alone. And even this week, if you believe in what I'm saying, you are going to be surprised by a supernatural occurrence. It's a miracle church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sit down, please. When you start the Bible in John chapter 8 and verse 29, Jesus said, God has not left me. I have never been alone. He's always with me. Because I do things that please him. Let me tell you. One of the things that pleases God is not just your character. It is your willingness to experience the miracles. Praise God. Jesus says, God has not left me because I do things that please him. Not I behave in a manner that pleases him. He says, I do things. What things? The same things he told us to do. Is it? If you believe in me, the miracles I do, you also shall do. And he says in verse 11, he says in verse 11, that at least believe in the evidence of the miracles. Let me tell you, there is nothing that pleases God more than a miracle. But there is nothing that pleases God more than a miracle. That's why the Bible says without faith, God cannot be pleased. What is the work of faith? To perform miracles. All you think faith is there to empower you to avoid sin. No. Faith is there to enable you to overcome the devil. And to receive the miracles from above. So the Bible says Jesus was not able to do any miracles there. Because they lacked faith. So without faith you cannot please God. The things that please God are the things produced by your faith. The Bible says my father has not left me. Because I do things that... Please him. And you don't find out what kind of things Jesus does. What are the things he does? He performs miracles. The Bible says he went everywhere doing good and healing the sick. He moved from cities to villages to do what he came to do. Nobody can do the works I do except God were with him. 
<laughs> Which is your theology? Which school did you go to? Bible school. Hallelujah. Give it to your neighbor, tell your neighbor, this is Murabe Bible School. You know. It's a powerful university. Amen. We graduate by counting the number of miracles. I will see children, business. <laughs> and you are receiving your parcel of land and your car and your miracle this year. Amen. Sit down, please. We are doing it, man. 